Hi everyone and welcome to this How to Magload video. Today we're talking about the Magload Supernova Trigger Upgrade. This trigger advertises a few things that it can do for you. It can obviously improve the trigger fill. It stops you from having to drill a hole in the back of your trigger guard for an over travel stop. And one of the other things it does is help with prep. Now stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna do another little segment on what prep is and how it helps because it may need some supporting mods to go with that. But the main bulk of this video is about how to fit this. It's very simple, very easy to do yourself. All you'll need is the 1.5 millimeter Allen key, which is supplied with the trigger. And you'll also need a sharp pick. So first thing to do is make sure your gun is clear and remove the trigger group. If you can't get this far by yourself, you should probably have this installed by a professional. If your trigger has come out of the gun cocked, then the first thing you'll need to do is remove the safety and decock the hammer like so. Then we're gonna remove this rear clip here, put your thumb over it and lever up over the curved edge and pull it back until it snaps off. They do like to fly off into oblivion, so do be careful with that. The next thing to do is to remove this rear takedown pin. I'm gonna push it out from here. And then I'm gonna use the side of the trigger guard and the point of the pick to lever it out the rest of the way. Last thing to remove from this now is this silver pin here. This is the axle on which the trigger rides. So again, take your pick and just pop that out like so. And your stock trigger will lift free. From here, you'll need to do to slide the transfer bar off. So just pull it off the spring and lift it off of the trigger like so. And to remove the spring, give it a gentle clockwise rotation until it comes off like so. You can now put that to one side, that is for your spares bag. Moving on, onto the trigger itself. Clip the spring onto the trigger like that. It should click on and be retained by the trigger. Then place the transfer bar on the axle that's already pre-installed on the new trigger and place the spring on there. Pinch it to hold the whole unit together and drop it in, making sure that the top of the transfer bar is over the back edge of the bolt catch like this. If you catch it like that, it will get stuck. So make sure it's over there and then just push it down until you can see daylight through the hole where the trigger axle will go through. We'll now grab that and push it on through. The trigger is now retained and it's time to replace the rear takedown pin. So push that in. It will only go in so far before you need to pull the trigger a little bit to allow it to go the rest of the way in. Put your D-clip back on with the straight end in first and then pushing over the curved bit until it clips in to place and make sure it's sitting correctly in its little slot there. Then what you need to do is take your 1.5 millimeter Allen key and whilst testing the trigger, screw in the rearmost screw until the trigger doesn't move anymore. You should see it start moving backwards of its own accord, like so, and just keep checking it, making sure it gets to the end of its travel. Once it's to the end of its travel like that, be careful not to over tighten this. The next thing to do is to cock the hammer. We've cocked the hammer and now simply without touching the trigger, we're just going to unscrew this rear screw very gently so we're not interfering with the trigger too much until you hear a click from the transfer bar dropping onto the disconnector. Like that. And then from there, we'll go another half to a full turn unscrewed. That just gives us a little bit of wiggle room for any dirt and debris that might get into the gun. Your pre-travel is now set and this is something that you can't do just by putting a screw into the back of the trigger guard. This will improve the trigger feel and later on we'll talk about how you can adjust this to make the trigger feel a bit different. Now the next thing to do is with the hammer cocked screw the front screw in until it touches the receiver just in there. You don't need to go all the way, and I do like to keep my thumb over the hammer as I do this, just in case you accidentally pull the trigger. Now whilst the instructions say you need to touch the receiver housing, you can stop a millimeter or short. You just want to screw it in far enough so that if you try pulling the trigger, the hammer doesn't drop. From here, just take your hex key and unscrew it bit by bit until you can drop the hammer. You should be able to watch the relationship between the disconnector and the hammer, and you should be able to tell when it's about to let go. Once you just get to that point there, unscrew it another half to a full turn. Your over travel is now set. That is 
the trigger now completely set up and you're ready to go. Put that back in your gun and go have some fun. As you can see, that is a single stage trigger there with a little bit of take up before you hit the brake. Now, the Supernova is technically a two stage trigger because you have the resistance from the spring on the transfer bar, which is your first stage, and the resistance from the spring in the disconnector, which is your second stage. So if you so choose, you can actually adjust this pre-travel to give you a proper two stage trigger. So if you just wind that out, to the desired amount. You can have as much take up as you like before you hit the wall, the second stage, and then your break from there. So you can turn your supernova into a proper two-stage trigger, fully adjustable using this. I said I would talk a little bit about prep at the end of this video. For those of you who don't know, prep is when you preload the pump handle and you pull the trigger. That's what prepping is. Now, for a prep disengage, which is what everyone wants, it's when you're pulling back on the pump handle and you pull the trigger and the gun unlocks, allowing you to cycle the gun faster. You don't have to consciously take pressure off of the pump handle. Supernovas are famous for not being able to prep. As a matter of fact, there are very few guns that do disengage when you're prepping the handle. But this trigger can help you with some supporting mods. So first of all, I'll show you how far you can take this without any supporting mods. Ideally, what we're looking for is with the trigger pulled and the hammer released, this transfer bar pop up of its own accord, like so. I'll just release a little bit of pressure on the trigger to demonstrate that. What that does is that makes the bolt catch drop and allows the gun to unlock and go backwards. Now, all the adjustment for this is in the over travel stop. So all you want to do is just make very, very small adjustments until it will pop up of its own accord with the trigger fully depressed. Almost there. There we go. Now, there are a few other things you can do to help this along. Like I said, this is not guaranteed just by dropping this trigger. You will need to do a few supporting mods. The main thing you'll want to do is polish the front of this transfer bar. I'll take it out so you can have a closer look at that. And some people will also recommend polishing the front of the bolt catch. Be extremely careful. Once you start working on this area here, you'll run into a cascade of issues that you need to trace each and every one of them down. I would advise staying well away from this bolt catch unless you're extremely familiar with the gun. So my only recommendation is to polish the front of the transfer bar. I'll take that out and show you what that looks like. Here is the transfer bar. And yes, it has a transfer bar just like a bullpup. The bit you want to polish is this front bit of the transfer bar here, and that will help you on your way to prep disengagement. The more well used your gun is, the easier it will be for that bolt catch to drop free once you've set the over travel correctly on this trigger. This trigger allows much, much, much finer adjustment of the pre-travel and over travel than just a grub screw up the back does. If I haven't convinced you to buy this by now, this probably isn't the mod for you. If I have, however, it is available on magload.co.uk in a variety of colors. This has been Connors with Magload. Shoot fast, don't miss.